Alright, so we are we have our uh, some, uh, concrete mix for the for the bond beam on the front face now. Um, and we are gonna shovel it into our our form that Ted told you about earlier. Um, really not a whole lot to it. Shovel it in shovel by shovel. Concrete um, is thick enough where it's not going to like spread out evenly. So we can we can fill up to our height and then just move along as we go. So we're going up to seven inches here. It's okay that it's going to slide down over there. We need it down there anyway. And it looks like what we're going to do is we're probably going to let we're going to pour it into the bottom, let that set, and afterwards we'll come back and fill this up to here. So this is actually like two stories tall right there. After you have your, your concrete poured, you need to poke it with a stick to get rid of any air pockets inside. So this just ensures that there's a contiguous pour, no air pockets, and that I like to get like right up on the on the sides of the form so that when we take this form off you're gonna see like a nice solid like plane of concrete. If you don't really get in there like this, you could have like, you know, some of those voids, especially on the sides. If I end up putting a little bit too much in here, it's fine. I don't think I will, but let me just shovel a little bit out. These forms are pretty good, and surprisingly, Ted made them, so I don't know why they're this good. <laughs> but um, you can see here we had a little bit of leakage out the bottom, and that's fine because concrete is viscous enough that if there is a little bit of leak, it'll essentially just plug itself. If this gap was bigger, it might have continued to pour, and we would have had to just plug that up with something like a piece of cardboard, or maybe insulation, or some dirt, or a rock, or something. Okay, so we have okay, here, a little uh, bit of a blowout over here that we need to plug up. So like I said, um, you can really use anything. I have, there happen to be a lot of like really solid mud clay here, so I'm just gonna plug that on this. That works. Our forms are mostly filled right now, um, and we're trying to get this uh, area done. So we are going to, we just mix a thicker batch with uh, more sand and concrete, uh, so this, so it's um, more viscous. So when we're coming up from down here, all, all the way up here, it's going to be less prone to spill out down there. Um, so we're just going to fill it up all the way. Whatever spills out, spills out will be fine, because we have to fill this form up to the top anyway. <laughs> After you have your concrete poured to the right level, you screed the top of the concrete. You just take a piece of some kind of material and you just tap down on the top level of the concrete. What that does is it pushes the material, like the aggregate, down and it pulls the water up. This is what gives you like a nice smooth like top. I found a nice piece of 2x4 that fits right into my form here. So works really, I get all the way across. So you just do this a couple times. And then, I mean, it, this is a little bit wet, so it's, it's setting really nice. And you can kind of just skim over the top too. To like move like water along and further smooth the surface. We're a little bit too high, so I'm just going to shave a little bit off the top here. What I'm doing is checking for level. I'm just going to lightly place my level on the wet concrete so it doesn't sink in one way or the other. We're slightly high here. Slightly. So, yeah, just, if you can just scrape, we're probably overall about like 3 sixteenths high on that end, and it's like over the whole length. 
I'm going to screed it with a long straight board. I don't care if it's curving this way, I, I just care about straight and straight. It's ripped on a table saw piece of plywood scrap. I'm just going to use as my... The concrete is a liquid, so it does, if you give it a little agitation, it does want to find level. So, we're perfectly level right now. So, what we're going to do to establish level over on that other side, since we don't have a site level or a laser level on this job site, very carefully measure my height down to the our concrete. I'm reading an inch and three quarters. So I'm going to mark that on the outside here. One and three quarters. So now I'm going to transfer that over to the other side. Up, in, up down. Down, not. There. Okay. I got you. There we go. So, that should be our concrete level over there within a... Oh, we're going to try to get it right on, but... That's going to make sense because this formwork is about that much lower. So, um, so I'm looking for an inch and five sixteenths. So yeah, we need to come up. Yeah, and, and we're definitely about rising. three quarters of an inch. So Ben, can we get a couple shovelfuls down right down here? Buffalo chips, thank you. I've done that experiment with that. Model. That's perfect. Can we have the right height over there? I'm going to check That's right perfect. now. I'm looking for one and five sixteenths. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. Okay. Can you hold that level and I'll do this? No. Oh. Okay, well, I'm, now I'm reading like two and an eighth. Probably might be really close. I think we're a little high. We're like an eighth high. We have two and an eighth on this side. So, two and three eighths. We're actually more like two. So, that's, that's two. Yes, sir.